Hey, what's up, Speakophiles? Wellington here, and welcome to another video. Right here on this table is the Party Box 310. Yes, finally, I have my hands on it. Super awesome. In this video, we're going to open it and see what you get in the box and how it comes. But we're also going to be getting a sound sample of the speaker and see what our first impressions are of the speaker. What is JBL advertising on this box? Um, the main things I see on here is just JBL Pro Sound, light show, Bluetooth, it better be, it's a Bluetooth speaker. Um, it's portable and rechargeable, that's awesome. Mic and guitar input, battery time up to 18 hours. Let's just open it up. There we go. This thing is huge though. Was this really necessary to put in JBL? I guess it's a center support. A lot manageable with the big box off the table. But let's first see what comes in this box. So in this box, what you get is the cord to recharge your speaker and then the paperwork stuff looks like just a user manual and all of that good stuff in there this thing is huge see oh no it just wants to roll it's pretty sweet those wheels are also I gotta say, the wheels are pretty sweet. Okay, so at the front here, there's nothing really to see. Uh, the tweeters are both up here like they did with the Party Box 100, both up here, and then the two main drivers. The, I don't like this. I wish they would have put them the opposite, like one here and one down here. Because yes, you can use this mostly like this, but I feel like it makes more sense when you lay the speaker sideways to have these, they are the most further apart, but I don't know. And then at the front, there's nothing there, just the JBL logo right there. Nothing there, nothing there. They have feet on both sides so you can lay it sideways. And then at the back here, let's see. So obviously the wheels, which are really nice, they roll easily. And then here is your charging port. It's covered up. I wonder if this has some sort of IPX5 rating or something like that, because I can see right here too, this has a port too, like, I mean the cover for all your controls and everything. I wonder what they do with the best port. Like if you have this covered up, how do you protect like water going in there? But yes, everything is covered up. You have the gain controls over here. So you can choose what to plug in here. Either you're using the first mic one or you're using the guitar. Depending on what you plug in here, here's your, your switch, which is pretty sweet. Uh, your 12 volt, is that input or output? I'm not sure. TWS, to connecting multiple of the speakers to play together right there for true wireless stereo. Then your aux input, you can daisy chain these too. So if, if you have multiple speakers of these ones too, you have an in and then an out. So you can bring from one speaker to 
like hardwiring. It's kind of like connecting all the speakers to play together, but with hardwiring. Your USB A here to charge your phones or anything that could use some juice. Okay, and then on top here, what we have is obviously selecting what mode your speaker should be playing in. You can select between Bluetooth, uh, USB, wait. So that USB port that we saw at the back here, it looks like it can play, uh, you can put files on a USB stick and you can play files off of it. You know, this is a mod selector right here and it has USB listed there too. So that's pretty cool. Um, kind of like what they did on the JBL product box on the go, pretty sweet. Then you have your best boost here your lights control on and battery, Bluetooth. Um, these controls, I believe, are for the microphone, uh, like echo, treble, and bass. This locks in place. So you push on it, and then it comes out, and then it locks itself, and then it has a button right here, kind of like, just like a travel bag, like for traveling. You know, you can press it to release it and then push it down and it locks in place. That's pretty sweet. I gotta say, I like that. And then you have your spot right here to put, I don't know, like a tablet, you know, just a, a docking place right there. And then that's an addition to all, to these two hand, to this handle right here. Actually two handles. So you can still carry it like this. There's this handle here, if you're gonna carry it like this, or if you wanna use one hand, if you're strong, you can, you know, just hold it on this, but I wouldn't do that. It's pretty heavy. Then you have, obviously, uh, the port at the back here for a stand. <laughs> for the speaker stand, you can, you know, set it on top of a speaker stand. That's pretty sweet, but I never do that. So this is probably never ever gonna come off ever. Okay, so the speaker is IPX4 rated. You probably can't see that, but yes, it's IPX4 rated. It also looks like you should only charge it when it's standing up, not when it's laying down sideways. According to the user manual, these right here are for sound effects. So like horn or scratch and all of that. That's what these are. All right, let's turn it on and see hear that JBL sound. If it has any battery. Yes. Also, the speaker has an app, which I think I already downloaded on here. All right. She is ready. I'm just gonna go open up the app and see if there's anything cool. I got the app. Okay, so it looks like with the app, we can um, change the light theme. theme. Uh, you can customize your colors for the speaker and you can control the lighting. So I can turn all the lights on, turn them back on. And then the DJ effects are also in here. They have quite a few actually pretty cool sound effects in there. And then they have the uh, TWS, you can pair another speaker. Bass, treble, and echo, and I believe those are for the controlling your microphones. It says karaoke right there. Bass boost, you have bass one and bass two, and that's for the sound. If you're listening to music, it looks like that's all you can do with the app. Obviously, it shows you your battery life that you have left on there. 
which is pretty cool. All right, let's get a sound sample. So I'm gonna lay it down like that so we can get a sound sample and I wanna be able to hear it too, okay? Now it goes without saying, but I'm gonna be using a high quality binaural microphone. So please make sure you use headphones starting right now. Okay guys, that's been the quick look at the Party Box 310. Obviously, we're gonna be working on a sound battle videos. I do have the JBL Party Box on the go. I have the Party Box 100 over there. I have the Boom Box 2 right here. Hey, what sound battles do you want to see? Let me know in the comment section down there. If you haven't yet, also make sure you subscribe. If you haven't yet, hey, go check out this cool new shirt. I have quite a few new designs over there. I have this design in um, 
shirts, sleeveless, all those kind of stuff. Go check out my merch store. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Have I said that enough? Make sure you have the bell icon turned on so you can get notifications when the new videos come out. Otherwise, you might miss some videos and you don't want to do that, do you? We don't want that. Okay, go subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching this one. I will see you in the next video. Peace.